Hi everyone! Today's session is about basic concepts of fractions. This is Teacher Angel and welcome to Math in You! The learning targets of today's topic is to visualize, identify, and recognize fractions. Name the shaded part of a fraction and solve problems involving fractions. So, are you ready? Great! Let's start with our problem of the day. Andrea has prepared a pizza which is equally divided into eight parts. She gave one part of this to Axel. What fraction of pizza did she give to Axel? Do you have an answer now? Alright, so let's go back to this problem later. Let's discuss first fractions. Okay, what is a fraction? Fraction is a part of a whole or a set. For example, look at the circle. The circle is divided into eight equal parts. Okay, and look how many colored parts are there. Three. So the name of the colored part is, the fraction is, three-eighths. Okay, next, how many parts are there? Look at the rectangle, the second one. Yes, there are three equal parts. And then, two parts are colored. So the name of the fraction is two-thirds. Okay, alright, that means two colored parts out of three parts all right next look at the triangle the triangle as you can see there are three but when you put together two triangles small triangles you can form you can form a small rectangle okay the shape looks like a rectangle all right okay so one part is colored yellow so that represents one fourth okay next the rectangle is divided into 12 equal parts. And then how many parts are colored blue? Five. So the name of the fraction is of the colored part is five twelves. Okay, so let's go back now to the problem. Let's answer the problem of the day. So how many pizza did Andrea buy? Yes, there is only one whole pizza. But she divided it equally into eight equal parts. Okay, and then, alright, that eight equal parts, that will be our denominator. Okay, that's the number that we're going to write at the bottom. And look, one pizza is missing because that one pizza was given to Axel. So we can say one. That is our numerator. So we gave, or Andrea gave one to Axel. So we can say that the fraction of pizza that Andrea gave to Axel is one eighth. One pizza, one piece out of the eight parts, eight equal pizzas. Okay? All right, so it's one eighth. That's the answer. Alright, so let's go back. What are the parts of a fraction again? So there, for example, we have one-fifth. There are five questions and then you miss to answer one item. Okay, so the fraction of the answer of the items that you miss is one-fifth. So one is the numerator, five is the denominator, and that line between 1 and 5 is our fraction bar. Okay, so let's define numerator. Numerator tells us the number of parts taken from the whole. Alright, just remember the pizza. We took one. That's the numerator. Or in this example, there are five questions. You missed one and one item to answer. That one item that you missed is our numerator. And the denominator tells us the total number of parts in a whole. So there are five questions. Five is the denominator. There are eight equal parts in the pizza. So eight is the denominator. All right. Okay, so let's practice. Let's write the following fractions in words. 
and in symbols so that is written in words so we're going to write that in symbol so one sixth so one and then the fraction bar and then six the denominator one fourth okay that's how we write one fourth and then one third so children what do you notice when you write the denominator very good it's written in like an ordinal number right six with the th fourth with the th third with the id okay the position right remember ordinal numbers so we write it that way okay so let's have another one so this time it's written in symbol we're going to write it in words so how do we write one tenth okay it's how we write one tenth one ninth and one half okay very good now it's your turn i'll give you 30 seconds to think okay to write the fraction in symbol and in words okay of the shaded part are you ready okay go All right, time is up. Very good. Show me your answer or check your answer if it's correct. Okay, for number one, yes, there are two shaded parts. So two and then three, that's the denominator. So we say two thirds with S because there are uh, more than one, right? Okay, next, yes, one half. Okay, very good. And then next, yes five sevenths five shaded parts okay and then there are seven equal parts so five sevens yay very good all right now can you answer these problems two problems okay i'll give you 30 seconds again ready go <music> Number one, there are eight students inside the classroom. Among them, three are girls. What is the fraction of the girls? Okay. Alright. Yes, there are three girls. So three out of eight. So we say three eights. Okay, good job. Next. Grandmother has 10 fruits inside the basket. Among these, 4 are apples. What is the fraction of the apples? Alright. Yes. 4 tenths. Okay, there are 4 apples out of the 10 fruits. Okay, so amazing children. So I hope you learned something today. Alright, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe and hit that all notification bell so that you will be updated when I upload a new video. Alright, so that's it. God bless you all. Bye!